All right, now the food guy and the bagel debate continues in Chicago with several new options having opened recently. The diehards want to know if they're hand-rolled, then boiled and baked. Our food guy says one shop in Ravenswood started out as a pandemic project and then quickly evolved into something much larger. Steve Delinsky joins us now live tonight with the story. Steve? Yeah, hi, guys. So most bagel shops use a commercial yeast, not this one. Uh, I'm still a fan of the old school places on the North Shore like New York Bagel and Bialy or Once Upon a Bagel, but few, if any, shops use an all-natural sourdough starter for their dough. You can taste the results before you even say schmear. Rachel and Adam Beltzman got bit by the baking bug during the pandemic, moving from bread to bagels pretty quickly. The resulting business, R&A Sourdough, which now occupies the corner of Lawrence in Winchester and Ravenswood, has allowed them to grow steadily. We had nothing but time, so it kind of allowed us to like do something with that time and slow down and create something out of nothing. The key to everything is their sourdough starter. So a sourdough starter is like the bloodline of this, of this bakery. It provides the bacteria instead of commercial yeast. It allows the bread to rise. They take a little bit of the starter each day, adding it to their large batch of dough. We've gone from our five-quart KitchenAid, we got a Target, to our bagel mixer that can hold uh, 100 pounds of flour. The dough is portioned into balls using a machine, then each sphere must be turned into a bagel using both hands. They're eventually boiled for a few minutes, sealing the shape. Some are dunked into sesame seeds or turned into everything bagels or another half dozen plus options. They're finally baked until crusty outside. Their team produces nearly 2,000 bagels a day, all of which can be either smeared with one of several cream cheeses or turned into sandwiches featuring cold smoked salmon, which is made on the premises, then hand sliced and paired with the usual suspects, tomato, red onion, capers. There's also corned beef if you're not a fish person. The key, Beltzman says, is feeding that sourdough starter every day with equal amounts of water and flour. So we feed it and we take care of it every day. Um, kind of like another child. Even when we go on vacation, we need somebody to babysit our starter. <laughs> Gotta feed that starter. There's a lot more than just bagels. There are breads, cookies, sweets, all made with that sourdough starter. More info about RNA on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just search for The Food Guy. That is quite a pivot during yeah. the pandemic, right? Just to go from... Really? She was a photographer. She was a photographer. And, yeah, started baking and got the little five-quart mixer. Now they got a wow. big, giant one. Have they named the starter yet, or do they no, just I don't, still refer to it I don't think so. I think they named it, but it is, it's like a child. It is. You can feed it every day. Definitely yeah. want to try those. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you, Steve. Sure. That's appreciated. Yep.